Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and welcome back to another episode of Proxmox Home Server Series. In the previous video about Zabbix, I gave you a demo how to self-host Zabbix server and how to use Zabbix to monitor VMs inside the Proxmox. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Zabbix to monitor entire Proxmox cluster and every single VM, LXC container or storage that is located inside that cluster. So let's begin. What you see in front of you is quite simple Proxmox cluster containing three nodes. I have VM running Zabbix server, which is this, and I have LXC container, which is currently offline for a reason. So let's start setting everything up. We will follow Zabbix plus Proxmox documentation from official Zabbix.com website and set up process is about 10 minutes or less. It's quite simple to set up. So all the links that I will use, uh, all the link to this page, you will find description below. So let's go and start setting up. First thing what we need to do is to create the user that Zabbix will use to log in into a Proxmox cluster. Let's click on a data center and click on the users. Click on the add and let's create the user. First thing, we need to give it a name or username. I'll call it Zabbix. From a dropdown, make sure that Proxmox VE is selected. Proxmox VE means that the Proxmox OS will be responsible for validating the user credentials. Provide the password, I'll enter something simple. And that is it. That's all you need to enter. You can obviously fill the name and etc. But that's all you need to make this work. So click add and I have a user right now created that belongs to PVE Realm. It's enabled, never expire. Next thing what we need to do is to give this user permissions. If you go back to a Proxmox, Zabbix Proxmox documentation, you will find that it needs these three permissions to fully function. It needs system audit, data store audit, and VM audit. So let's go back to Proxmox. And under data center, click on permissions, add new permi user permissions. I will select the top level. And then I will select the user from a dropdown. And the role that the user will have is called PVE Auditor. This role contains data store audit, system audit, and VM audit that the Zabbix requires. Rest of them can stay. And make sure propagate is ticked. Click Add. So that's it. We have a user created. Uh, sorry, we have uh, permissions added for user Zabbix that belongs in PVE realm. The role is PVE Auditor. And propagate set to true. Next thing what we need to do is to create API token. Under data center, below permissions, you will find option called API tokens. I'll click add, select the user from a dropdown, give it a name. So Zabbix dash monitor, for example, make sure you deselect privilege separation. Make sure this is not selected and click add. And this is your token details. Make sure you keep them safe. Do not share with anyone. So I don't mind to show this on the screen because obviously this will be deleted as soon as video is done. So I'll keep this open because if I'll close that, I won't be able to retrieve this information again. I will have to go and recreate a new token. So I can leave this running. Now I can go back into a Zabbix dashboard, click on a data collection, hosts. Right now, as you can see, is only one host, which is Zabbix server itself. I'll click on a create host in the top right hand corner and give it a name. Let's call this cluster-yt. Visible name we can skip. In the template, start typing Proxmox. And one of the options will be Proxmox VE by HTTP. Select that. Host group, I'll call this hypervisors, like that. And right now under interfaces, you need to add at least one IP address of one node of your Proxmox cluster. In my case, it's going to be 140. This is one node. If I go and add another one, it's going to be 192, 168, 178, 141. And I believe the third node is 192, 142, like that. You can, you need to add those here because if I go back to documentation, it says set your host name or IP address of a Proxmox API and the port. I trying, to, I tried to set this up, but it's just can't work just I can't, I don't know sure why but it just doesn't work for me so a workaround would be you just add IP addresses as the agents and the Proxmox or Zabbix will detect that these are Proxmox nodes and it will give you the permission they'll give you the information about each node you don't need to enter all three one will be fine but please note that if that node dies there is nowhere like a ba backup 
So I add all of them. Next thing, what we need to do, if we go back to documentations, looking at a point two, we need to copy token ID and token secret. Let's go back to Zabbix and now click on macros. I'll add two lines here and now go back to Zabbix, documentation, select this. Actually, I can select all that. Paste and paste. So first thing, I'll delete this part. And second thing, I delete this part. So right now we need to fill the information for token ID and token secret. Now I can go back to Proxmox and select this first line, Zabbix at PV exclamation mark Zabbix dash monitor. Paste that one in here and secret will be this long random string. Let's go and paste that in. That's it. So I had those two added. And if I go back to hosts, I have name, I have the template, I have the group and at least one node IP address and the macro set up correctly. Click add. So right now it's been added. If I go back to monitoring and hosts, right now I can see that the cluster YT only has free data. So right now just give it two, three minutes or so, and this will start going up. And here we go after about 45 to 60 seconds later, I can see that that from, I think was free right now is 123. So if I click on this, I will see exactly what the Zabbix is pulling from Proxmox cluster. So all this was to see is being monitored by a Proxmox, by the Zabbix. If I go up, I can see that is monitoring cluster memory, network, raw. It detected that there is a virtual machine with ID number 100. And it's detected the Alexi container with ID number 101. If I go into monitoring and hosts, I can see that this is detected and is right now as before 123. If we click on graphs, I can actually filter down what I want to see. If you can see this information here, you can click on the filter option at the top right hand corner to reveal them. So right now I want to see what, for example, local storage is doing. I click on local and see what's happening at the moment, no activity. So go back, deselect that. Let's click on memory. As you can see, it detected that the node the LXC 101, this is how much memory. The node 1, this is how much memory using. Node 2, node 3, let's go up. Deselect the memory. And let's select, where is it? Let's say, for example, I want just monitor node 1. Click on that. And this is all information that is related to node 1. If I scroll down, I can see that ZFS what is using all the VMs that belongs to node 1 or runs on node one is showing. So right now at the top is showing me a CPU uses for node one. I say I wanna check node one and node three. I select both of them right now and it gives me all information for node one and node three. Deselect, deselect, and let's say I wanna see what Q100 is doing. So this is the VVM100. So how much CPU using, how much network is going and etc. If I go back to a host under below monitoring, there is problems. Let's click on that and see what's happening. So I can see that the swap usage is over 90%. The, the uh, VM100 uses a lot of memory and there is a problem that uh, Alexi container not running. This is the reason why I have Alexi container is not running. So right now we'll start this Alexi container because Zabbix just told me that there is a big problem, average severity that the LXC container with the ID number 101 is not running and it's been not running for like two minutes and a half. Let's check what's happening with the QEM 100. It says high memory usage. Let's click on this and let's see. Yeah, I can see it's definitely using a lot of memory and Zabbix detected that and gave me information. There is a problem with this thing. Let's go to monitor and host. So it's still one and two. And right now it's still 123 and 32 graphs so far. Let's click on this and see what's gonna happen. So right now, the Zabbix automatically monitors the entire Proxmox cluster and will automatically pick up any new VMs or Alexi containers you will add to your Proxmox cluster. If you change your storage, it will detect. If you increase ZFS or you increase Ceph pool, it will detect and it will basically keep monitoring and automatically detecting right now anything that happens inside the Proxmox cluster. And this setup is not only for Proxmox cluster. You can use this setup to monitor one single node. While I was yapping, as you can see information, it says there is information for this and it's solved. 
and is not running. There was a three minute duration for LXC container 101 not running, but right now it means that it has been restarted uptime less than 10 minutes. So that's it. That means it's detected that this LXC container is running and Proxmo is telling me that there is information that is linked to that problem and right now it's been solved, which is about a minute or so ago. And that's it. And Proxmo will, and sorry, Zabbix will continue monitoring and giving me all information. As you can see, blue color indicates that this has been resolved. Or oh, there is one problem that is resolved. Let's click on the graphs. And now I can click on LXC container. Let's see how that is doing. So LXC container, the CPU usage went up a bit. The disk usage, memory usage, and etc. And if I deselect that, and it's right now showing me everything. And it's a lot and a lot of data, as you can see, 32 of them. And if you have a lot of VMs or LXC containers running on them inside your Proxmox cluster or inside your Proxmox, single Proxmox node, it will pick up everything automatically and will display everything what you need to monitor your Proxmox cluster and making sure that is running spotless. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.